Hi everyone, my name is Zoe Almeida and I'm a postdoc here at the Marine and Anadromous Fisheries Ecology Lab. I study how recent marine heat waves in the North Pacific affect young life stages of Pacific cod. And my research is closely linked to Hilary Thalmans, who also has a video on this site. In particular, I'm trying to understand how the marine heat waves and water temperatures in general affect Pacific cod hatching and early life growth. The recent marine heat waves greatly affected Pacific cod populations in the Gulf of Alaska. The marine heat wave years where temperatures increased dramatically caused the Pacific cod population to decline so much so that the fishery closed. These marine heat waves affected all life stages of Pacific cod because they persisted for more than a year. However, young life stages are often quite sensitive to their environment and negative effects in these life stages might be very important for the larger population's response to marine heat waves. Therefore, we were interested in how the warming temperatures experienced during the marine heat waves affected young Pacific cod. One question we were curious about is if warmer temperatures were causing Pacific cod to hatch earlier. Throughout a year, Pacific cod adults usually reproduce in late winter, with baby Pacific cod hatching in the spring. However, warmer waters might cause adult Pacific cod to reproduce earlier in the winter or cause their eggs to hatch earlier in the spring, which would shift this timeline. Once Pacific cod hatch, their body growth might also be affected by the temperature. Growth in most fish is strongly linked to the temperatures they experience, with warmer waters causing faster growth. To answer both of these questions, I use otoliths. Otoliths are hard structures in the inner ear that help orient the fish. They also grow proportionally with the fish in undisturbed layers similar to tree rings. The image on the right is a section of an otolith showing rings that are deposited daily. This means that we can look at the number of rings to age the fish and use the width of the rings to estimate daily growth. By answering these questions, we hope to increase understanding of how Pacific cod responded to the recent marine heat waves and how they might respond in the future. By studying these individual responses of young fish, we will better understand how extreme heat affects these life stages and if the responses of these young fish are playing a crucial role in the impacts on the larger population. Thank you for watching.